So what I have here is a premium Android phone. It's running on a Qualcomm 8960 chipset, um, dual core. Uh, I have Corning glass on both sides. It's a special curved glass. You can see here that the phone is uh, slightly curved. Um, it's running on Android, the latest version. And uh, the only thing we have changed to the Android, so it's principally running vanilla, but we have taken out the uh, Android button. So you can see there's no home, back, uh, and multitasking. What we've done is that uh, if you want to go home to your home menu, you just swipe like this, and you have your home menu. If you want to multitask, do like this uh, and if you just want to go one step back you do like this I'll go home to my home menu the new feature is that we have added a EPD display on the rear side of the phone um, to this uh, display we can copy anything I can basically just do like this and I have a uh, copy of my rear display when I use the two fingers I'm only copying whatever I have on the phone uh, if I want to interact with it, we have developed a special SDK kit uh, to do that. And I'll show a few things, uh, example on what you can do. For instance, uh, one example I like very much myself is a boarding card. Um, just go back here. I've downloaded my boarding card in the hotel. I just do like this. And I basically have uh, the boarding card with me. I can go to the airport, I can check in and do all these things. And uh, if it runs out of battery, it still stays there because it's uh, e-ink. go back and show you a few more things um, for instance we have uh, in this case here uh, Twitter the whole idea we had was to uh, make the phone always on uh, right now when you have to get an update on your calendar your Facebook uh, Twitter etc you basically had to uh, wake up your phone it's just lying like a black box you have to wake it up you have to interact uh, very often you're a bit embarrassed, you take it under the table, you're sitting and looking what's going on, uh, what is my next meeting. Uh, here what you do is, uh, if you want to Twitter, you ask, you've set it up already, maybe in this case I've set it up to push Twitter messages when they come in. So I want basically to follow my favorite uh, Twitters. I could even go in and prioritize and say that uh, I wanted uh, to have some certain uh, Twitters focused on the, on, the, on the rear display. I could also say I only wanted it 10 minutes, uh, it's up to me. The beautiful thing is that it stays on all the time, I don't miss anything. And uh, it only uses battery when it's refreshing. So that's basically uh, the big thing. I can give you the same example on uh, Facebook. Here you have Facebook. Another beautiful feature is the map. Uh, I think we all try to be, I mean, just the day before yesterday I was running around Barcelona trying to find my way around and now constantly nervous of running out of battery because if you run out of battery you definitely don't know where you are you can't call anybody, you can't do anything uh, this one is almost like a good old paper map you can navigate to the city and if you uh, want to know where you are you just push the button, it wakes up turns on the antennas and it tells you where you are so you basically don't spend any battery unless uh, you really want to start uh, 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 navigating What? was our goal with this phone was to change the way people are interacting with their phone. Uh, we want it to be more human, we want it to be more emotional and more personal. I'll give you another example on that. Uh, we put in a dictionary so that I, when I receive an SMS, it's no longer just words. It takes the words and converts them into pictures. So let's say my wife was very sweet, was writing, I love you. Right now I'm just getting an SMS. I could even lose it because I'm getting so many SMS during MWC. Here I would not lose it. Because first of all, it would stay on the rear uh, until I push something. Uh, and also, it converts the word love into a heart. It could also be happy birthday and I'll find a cake. Or it could be some, some pictures that I decided was important for me related to a word. So it's a whole new way of communicating. But more importantly, it makes sure that I don't miss anything. Um, I'll just clear that out. And go back to the home menu. Another... Uh, a good example of the personality and the human touch is a countdown. Uh, here I can actually make a manifest. Uh, let's say I've decided to quit smoking. I push this button. I've already put in that when I decided that this was my... Uh, sorry, I'll just push it again. Let's see if it's coming out. Sometimes I need... I have a lot of stuff in there right now. And I'll, this is my internal navigation. Sorry, I'll just try it one more time. I'll take a new phone and I'll show the same thing. Still has a few bucks. Uh, I 
fixing this at the moment. Uh, and the main issue is actually that the Wi-Fi here is very bad. So if I activate the card, for instance, the card is trying to see how can I communicate, and it uh, basically uh, runs into to, to, to trouble. But we already solved that actually, and we're ready. We'll be fixing it when we launch it. All right. So I'll go back to my countdown. Um, just restarting here. So I quit smoking. I push this button. And I can basically share with people around me that it's coming short because I just started it up. Do it one more time. Here we go. So I can share with people around me now. It's been 431 days without smoking. I'm good. You can talk to me. I'm no, no longer stressed. Everything is good. I can also share the success with me and I can send a manifest out to people around me that I've done it. Uh, it's been uh, more than a year and uh, I, I, I was successful. Um, I could also, I like football very much, it could be a countdown to uh, uh, the Brazil FIFA Cup. And the, the latest death for this, I know that in approximately within 300 days I need to start telling my wife uh, that uh, I'll be gone for a few months uh, to, to, to Brazil. Um, again, it's about sharing with people around me what I'm doing, what's going on, but it's also about reminder. I could also, for instance, put in that I need to drink a glass of water each day or I need to take my pills at 5 o'clock or I need to remember to call my mother. All this can be served in the way you want it. It's your back, back display. I don't think I showed the e-reader, which obviously is uh, uh, where this screen originally came from. This is uh, basically the screen that you would know on the Kindle, so it's an e-ink screen, uh, uh, EPD display from e-ink. And I'll give you an example here of, uh, of, of e-reading. Now the book is quite small, but I'll still show you the print here. Uh, so I can move the e-reader on the rear display. And I can basically navigate in the book uh, like I want. I can read in sunlight. Uh, if there is a word that I don't understand, I can push this button. It will take me to the back side and into the right dictionary or whatever I've set it up to do. Um, if I want to take a quote from the text and share it on Facebook, I can do that as well by just one click and it takes me to Facebook automatically. If I was only reading on this phone, I would uh, have around 40 to 50 hours battery time. This is obviously a huge uh, benefit. At the same time, I can read in sunlight uh, and it's much better for my eyes if I chose a little bit bigger <laughs> time script here. The special thing on the form fact of the phone is that it's curved. You can see here. It's so that people will put it down like this uh, and it could be sending you all important messages like uh, calendar, Twitter, whatever you are, are, are interested in. The other thing is that we have integrated the power button with the SIM card, which is a new feature. And the whole idea for us is to take away as many buttons as we can and make it as touchable, as clean and as multifunctional as, as we can. This is just one step towards our final goal.